Good day, good day, good day, and welcome back to another episode of Drew's Book Reviews here on this beautiful summer day here in beautiful British Columbia. Let's talk about what books are on my next five reads, and we're finally getting back to the Viewer's Choice poll, so stay tuned if you want to find out which books are going to be on the Viewer's Choice poll and which books I am going to read for my next five reads. Stay tuned, that is coming up here on Drew's Book Reviews. All right, let's talk about the next five reads here on Drew's Book Reviews. So as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I'm not doing a monthly TBR anymore, but rather I'm shifting that focus. I still like doing TBRs, TBRs and I really enjoy those types of uh, TBR plans and that kind of thing. I'm a very plan type reader, I guess, not so much a mood reader. Um, so I still enjoy it, but I found that I just haven't been able to get through all the books that I've wanted to in a given month. This year has been a real struggle with that. So we're just doing the next five reads and that's how we're going to do it going forward. So however long it takes me to get through the next five books, that's when I'll complete those and move on to the next five reads after that. And I'll post a video on that every time I'm about to start my next five reads. And of course, you, my wonderful viewers and subscribers, are going to get an opportunity to vote on which of these books you want me to see a, or you want to see me review here on the channel. So let's get into that and of course hit that like button, comment and subscribe and let me know down below. So this month or this next five reads, a lot of it are kind of mid-series books that are coming up on the next five reads as I continue to make my way through some highly anticipated series reads for this year. So let's start with Captain's Fury. So this is going to be the next book, book four. Book 4 in the Codex Alira. Just finishing up Book 3 as of the day of this filming and likely we'll have that done before the end of June. So I'm going to be reading Book 4 of the Codex Alira, Captain's Fury. So if you don't know already, this is Jim Butcher's other fantasy series, famous for the Dresden Files mainly, which by the way is a fantastic series. If you haven't read the Dresden Files, definitely go check it out. In any case, uh, Fury's a Cauldron is a series that I am working on, and it just seems to be getting better from book three onward. The first couple of books were okay, but book three seems to be picking up the pace, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that translates into book four of the Codex Alira. It's kind of a fantasy world based on elemental magic of earth, fire, water, that kind of thing. Uh, so that's really interesting as far as the elemental magic system goes. To be honest, I haven't read a lot of fantasy books with an elemental magic system. And so it definitely, at least for what I typically read, it's unique. So there you go, Jim Butcher's Captain's Fury is coming up on the next five reads. Next up, we have our next Discworld book, which is going to be Thud. And based on the cover, I'm going to say that this looks a lot like it has some kind of, it's a guard of some kind, so it's going to be part of the Watch series, I believe, of Akmore Pork, but we shall see. Terry Pratchett, as always, is absolutely hilarious, and this guy absolutely loves poking fun at everything, and he does it in such a fun way. I really enjoy the, this series. I, I'm loving the Discworld series, and I'm loving Terry Pratchett's take on so many different things. So I'm really looking forward to reading Thud by Terry Pratchett from Discworld as part of my next five reads. So that is going to be a good read. I have so far enjoyed every Discworld book I've read. So no doubt I will enjoy Thud as well. Next up is going to be the second book in Christopher Rocchio's series. We are going Sun Eater book two, Howling Dark. I have to say I absolutely love the first book in this series, which will probably make my top 10 reads of the year, to be honest. Uh, but Howling Dark is coming up next, and I cannot wait to get into the Howling Dark after how much I absolutely loved the first book in the series. Honestly, Empire of Silence book one is phenomenal. Just fantastic and I really cannot wait to get into The Howling Dark by Christopher Rockhill. I have no doubt this is going to be an amazing book because the first one was just so good, so good. Can't wait to read that one. Next up on the list is going to be Assassin's Quest, the Farseer Trilogy book three by Robin Hobb. So this series so far is not bad. I'm enjoying the characters and the relationships. Uh, and the very character focus of it. I absolutely love a character driven story. I think I mentioned that before. I love my good characters. Boring characters are no fun. Good characters that are interesting, you just want to know about. You know, you could write a good character when you don't even care if the plot progresses. You just want to know more about that character in his everyday life. That's something that I found a lot with Robin Hobb. 
especially with the character of Fitz. That's not to say there is no plot progression at all or anything like that. It's just that the character writing is just so good that I'm absolutely loving that. And I'm really looking forward to reading Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb as one of the next books in my next five reads. And then finally, last on this list of the next five reads is going to be book two of The Faithful and the Fallen. Now, I'm trusting my book two buddies in the community that it does get better. But we're going to be reading Valor. This is book two in The Faithful of the Fallen by John Gwynn. So I'm looking forward to getting to this because like, like I've said several times now, I'm told it gets better and I certainly hope that it does because I want it to get better. I love the world that's been built. I love the ideas, the concepts, and I want to see that play out in an effective, compelling story that I can look back on later and say I absolutely love this series. Right now it's just okay, but I would love it if that would turn into i love this series so valor is on my list of the next five reads so there you have it there there are my next five reads so down below i want you to comment have you read any of these books are you planning on reading any of these books what are you reading now or what do you hope to or look forward to getting to but not only that make sure you head on over to the community tab Take a look at the viewer's choice poll and cast your vote for which one of these books you would like me to do a viewer's choice book review video on. I look forward to hearing from you on that. Uh, I love getting that engagement on the channel and it helps me out and uh, you know I love to hear from you. So let me know what book you would like to see me do a review on from these next five reads. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and of course check out the links below for all my socials. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment and subscribe. And until next time, as always, keep on reading. Bye.